Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain two keyboard shortcuts to select a column that contains blank cells. So in this example here we have column C and we can see there's obviously some blank cells in this column. So it's hard to use a keyboard shortcut to select the entire column here. We really just want to select the used range or this current region here from C2 to C13. And that's hard to do with the keyboard shortcut. If we press control shift down that'll just take us to the next cell that contains data. The other option is to hit control shift end and then hold down the shift key and left arrow over a couple times to the left. Uh, but both of those takes multiple steps. So there's a few ways around this. And the first way is to use an Excel table. So on this other sheet here, I have the same data, but it's now in a table. And of course, you can go to insert on the uh, insert tab here and go to table to insert a table. And I have a whole nother video on Excel tables that explains in more detail. But now when we have our data in an Excel table, the keyboard shortcut to select the entire column is control space. So no matter what cell you have selected in the column, just hold down the control key and then hit the space bar and that will select the entire column. And then of course you can go do whatever operation you want to do, maybe format these cells, uh, type in a formula or just about anything uh, in that column that you want to do to all of the cells in the column. So control space does that. Now, if you press control space again, that will include the header in the selection here, the table header uh, row or cell in the selection. And if you press control space a third time, that will select the entire column of the worksheet. So it's just kind of good to know that sequence there, but no matter what column you're in or what cell you're in in the table, whether it has blanks or not, you just press control space and that'll select all of the cells in the data body range of that column. So I'd highly recommend using tables as often as you can. There's a lot of other benefits of tables besides just this keyboard shortcut uh, that help you work with your data. Now, of course, there's times when we just don't have our data in a table and we just have it in this regular range like I have here. And for this case, I have a macro that will select the entire column there of the used range or what's called the current region. So I've added the macro to the uh, my personal macro workbook. If I go to the developer tab here and open the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11 is a keyboard shortcut for that. In my personal macro workbook uh, under this select range, code module, I've added this macro here. And I'll provide this macro for you to download. And I have a whole nother video series on how to use the personal macro workbook, how to set it up, and then you can just copy and paste the macro into your own personal macro workbook. And once it's in your personal macro workbook, we can then uh, set a keyboard shortcut for the macro. So this is the macro here. I won't go to, into it in too much detail, uh, but basically it just uses this current region property of the active cell to find that current region, to try and attempt to find the entire column there of the current region. And the current region is really just uh, trying to find this the used range within the sheet. And there can be multiple used ranges or regions within the worksheet. So current region just tries to find all of the used data around the active cell. So that's what that's doing there. That's kind of what the macro is doing uh, just to find the start and end point and then select the entire column. So if we jump back over to Excel here and we'll go to the developer tab on the ribbon and then we're going to click the macros button here. We'll find that uh, macro here in the list. It's this one here, select column with blanks. So just uh, select that one there. You can also drill down or uh, filter this down to only look at macros within your personal macro workbook. Oops, then again, find that uh, macro there, select column with blanks. And then we'll hit options here. And here we can define a, a keyboard shortcut for the macro. So I'm gonna use uh, control shift C. So I'm gonna hold down shift and then press C. And we can see the keyboard shortcut is now control shift C. And then we'll click okay. So that's defined the keyboard shortcut. 
and we can just cancel out of this. And so now when we're in this column, anytime we press Control Shift C, that's going to select the entire column of data. And as long as there's a header row here and the header row uh, contains bold text, then it will not select the header row. So it could be anywhere here, hit Control Shift C, and that will select the entire column there of that current region or that used range on the sheet. And that works on any column as well. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to contain blanks. So even if the column does not contain blanks, we can use that to select the entire column too. So that's the keyboard shortcut and the macro there to select the entire column, whether or not it contains blanks. And again, use a table if you can, because the, that's an easy keyboard shortcut with control space. But if you can't use a table, then you can use that macro there and define a keyboard shortcut for the macro and run that anytime to save you a lot of time with selecting that entire column. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help answer them. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.